Uh, and good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on This Is Now. In about an hour, the military will hold a news conference where they're expected to release the video of the Red Hill fuel spill that led to a water crisis that impacted thousands of Navy families. Yeah, meanwhile, we also learned of another toxic water spill at Pearl Harbor over a year and a half ago that the public didn't know about until now. Mahalani Richardson breaks it all down. <laughs> Well, today the Red Hill Task Force will have a news conference at 1 p.m. And this is something that many people have been highly anticipating since that AFFF spill happened on November 28th of last year. At that spill, 1,300 gallons of AFFF, or toxic firefighting foam, spilled from Red Hill. And this was literally just around the anniversary of the Red Hill fuel spills that happened in 2021. Now, for five months now, activists and many people in the community have been wondering, let's see the video, let's know more about this investigation. But the military had constantly said that it needed to follow the process. And so it'll be very interesting to see uh, what this video looks like. Uh, we understand the video is 11 hours long, Dylan. And of course, we're hoping that the, they will let us see a, a cut down version of it, but it is 11 hours long. And we do know that regulators from the Environmental Protection Agency and Department of Health have already seen it as part of their investigation. That's an incredible video and we're definitely keeping an eye out and uh, eagerly anticipating that video. Now, have you seen this video or, and or can you describe what is going to be shown in that video? Well, Dylan, I haven't seen the video personally, but because regulators have seen it as part of the investigation, they've been able to describe the video to me. So I've heard its description from several different people, and I wanted to co quote Phoenix Grange. She's the Department of Health's groundwater lead. Uh, we broke an exclusive story with an interview with her where she described the video, and I'm just going to quote in terms of what she said. She said, you see people coming in and out, and at some point you see the A triple F compound, which just looks like water in that case, coming out under, and so it's outside the facility. And so she's talking about the A triple F, that toxic firefighting foam, seeping out uh, from under a door. And this was caught on a surveillance camera. So this is something that we're going to be very interested in seeing. Um, Many people have been calling for the release of this video, but again, Dylan, the military has said uh, that it needed to follow the process. Now, also in terms of what caused the spill, we had heard from our sources that uh, it was apparently caused by some sort of contractor. In fact, after this AFFF spill, uh, the Red Hill fuel, the Red Hill fuel tanks were under the jurisdiction of Navy Region Hawaii. But after the AFFF spill, then the Red Hill Task Force, which is in charge of defueling Red Hill, basically took over jurisdiction of the fuel tanks. Thank you so much, Mahia. Uh, we also know there was another spill that you reported on yesterday at Pearl Harbor. Uh, if you can quickly tell us about that. Right. That spill happened more than a year and a half ago. And coincidentally, it happened one month before the Thanksgiving fuel spills in November 2021. Now, in this case, it was 300,000 gallons of water that burst from a water main at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. And this happened at an oil reclamation facility. Basically, the facility separates oil from water so that the oil and fuel can be used again. So after this flood, there was an apparent mix of oil and water. And then our sources told us that uh, and these were exclusive interviews. We had to um, distort their voices to protect their identities. They said that at the time, they saw that there was a foamy appearance to the mixture, to this toxic to this toxic mixture, and that told them that there must have been a triple F in that toxic mixture. Well, just late yesterday, uh, Navy Region Hawaii released a statement and said that they are considering that this mixture is uh, has PFAS in it, even though they've never tested it. They're finally acknowledging that there might be PFAS in this toxic mixture, and that means a whole new level of regulation and jurisdiction over this toxic mix. Mahea, thank you so much for staying on top of all of these toxic spills and, and getting the answers that the people of Hawaii deserve. Uh, we will be streaming that 1 p.m. press conference on the Red Hill. Be sure to stay tuned to the Hawaii News Now digital apps. Hawaii